It's Rachel Chambers. I was asked what is the difference between the Esborn Science Activities books and Esborn's Activities, the 365 Science Activities. I just wanted to show you briefly a little bit of difference because they are different. The 365 Science Activities actually offers you 366 activities, but it gets you just a little bit of everything for involving science, from invisible ink to recycled paper, balancing a butterfly, air power, paper helicopters, water power, all of that. There's quite a variety in this book. Whereas the titles in this series, Asborn Science Activities, you can buy each paperback individually or you can get them in combined volumes. There are three combined volumes available. These are much more specific. Science in the Kitchen really is all about the kitchen and things that you can do. You're soaking through with water, disappearing water, things that are wet and dry, taste tests, fizz, dough, freezing, melting, and then each one has a note for parents and teachers and an index. So I'm going to flip through here from the back just to give you an idea of how each of these is laid up, laid out. Excuse me, there's science in the air with plants in the kitchen, all sorts of things, with batteries. In the back you have your index, your note for your parents. And then you're in your experiments here, freezing and melting, modeling dough, making dough, how things rise, what they do, fizz, sour things, more taste testing, obviously we're working backwards, you get juice, invisible ink, wet and dry, how things change when you leave them out. Disappearing water. Soaking through. The different weights with the marble test, the strength test. And talking just about experimenting in the kitchen. So this is Science in the Kitchen. Again, there are some others available. Science with water, science with batteries, with magnets, a variety that way. If I can help you with more, please let me know. Thanks.